what's in here and welcome to my unboxing and review of the SH figure art Sakura Harano Inheritor of Tsunade's Indomitable Will and Bandai. Come here, come here real close. Make that character right here, the character that you're teasing in the name. Make that character, please. Anyway, getting in to this review, uh, I gotta preface this with something actually. So I know I said in, I've said multiple times that the Obito was the figure that pushed me over the edge and made me get into Naruto and collect the SH figure arts line and that is true that is the one that did it but this is actually the one that really like kicked off my interest in it I actually when I went and saw the uh the Demon Slayer season 3 premiere with my sister you know when they played the last two episodes of the Entertainment District arc and the first episode of of season 3 the Swordsmith Village arc in theaters when I went and saw that with my sister we went to a geek store a comic book store and they had this figure on there and even they, this was long before I had watched Naruto and even Black Clover so I was wasn't even that big of a Battle Shonen fan. And I saw this figure on the shelf, and I came this close to buying it. The only reason I didn't buy it is because I didn't really have... I, I couldn't really afford it at the time. So, yeah, I really wanted this. I actually thought it looked absolutely awesome. I thought it looked like a ton of fun, and I was literally this close to buying it. But, now that I've finally gotten into Naruto, and I love Naruto, and I love the SH Figure Arts line, of course, it's finally time to add Sakura to the collection. And I'm gonna say it right off the bat, I absolutely love Sakura. Now, maybe it is just my inherent want to um, support the underdog character, support the character that everybody likes to hate on, but I don't understand where all the hate's coming from. I will admit she's not the most useful character but she's a really fun character and she's had some really amazing moments in my opinion I won't spoil anything specifically but I think she does some pretty amazing stuff in the first arc of Shippuden and I don't know I just appreciate her character I like her I would say I actually like um, Sakura maybe a little bit more than Nobara from JJK honestly definitely not more than Noel though anyway without further ado let's jump in to the unboxing and review of this figure that I'm very very excited for and and kick it off by taking a look at the packaging here. We have another, once again, awesome picture of Sakura right there in that cool brush stroke look. I have, the, I have the Sasuke box over here so we can take a look how they look together right there. Very cool. And then we have Naruto Shippuden, Bandai Tamashi Nation, Sakura Haruno, Inheritor of Tsunade's Inevitable Will. Bandai, make that character. Uh, we got Tamashi Nation seal of approval right there. We have the figure of the packaging. We have an awesome picture of her right there getting ready for battle. Sakura Haruno. We've got a, a bunch of product shots right here on the back and some nice product shots right here. And um, I, my friend at work who has watched Watch Naruto has told me that Sakura actually gets really, really awesome in the, the fourth Shinobi War arc. So, can't wait to see her in that. But without further ado, let's get her out. Yes, yes, yes! Oh my god, this figure is amazing. It is a damn shame that absolutely nobody's gonna watch this review because this is easily my favorite figure in the line so far. Oh my god, this is absolutely freaking beautiful. First off, the first thing I'm gonna say about her is unlike the Shippuden Sasuke, which I do like, don't get me wrong, I like that figure, but he had a very plasticky look to the skin. That is not a problem on Sakura. This skin looks so well done. It looks 100% accurate to the character, especially on the face, and I mean that face sculpt is absolutely beautiful. Love the green eyes, and they perfectly captured her look, her likeness from the show. You've got her Hidden Leaf Village headband right there, looking absolutely amazing. I love how that looks up there. Really, really great. Her zipper, which for some reason goes off to the side right there. Now, I will talk about the shoulders right here. Everybody has talked about these at length. Personally, I don't care, because they're on the back, and I'm not, and I'm not gonna display her on the back, and even if I do, like, I guess for, like, stop motion, yeah, I could understand Stand, but I think maybe you could probably yeah, you can spin them around for that Maybe you might no, nah, I don't think you can actually no you can't spin them around, but I don't think it's a deal breaker personally. This is easily my favorite figure in the line so far that I have reviewed. Um, and uh, I don't, this is not a deal breaker for me. I really don't care about it that much. Like, I used to be a Transformers fan, and when people would talk shit about the stuff on the back or cable on the back, I would always be like, I don't care. It's on the back. I'm not going to see it anyway. And that's how I feel about these joints right here. If you hate them, that's perfectly acceptable if you hate them. I, I totally understand. But personally, I don't care. I am indifferent on this. I don't really mind it at all. And I mean, from 
the front, she just looks so damn perfect. And the quality on her is so amazing. I would absolutely argue that the quality on her is the best of is the best so far. Maybe aside from Obito, but he's but even her, but even him, she's giving him a run for his money, man. This is absolutely higher quality than the Sasuke and the Kakashi. Those if this one blows those two out of the water. The kid Naruto, probably about the same as this, and we'll find out very soon about the Shippuden Naruto, because I have him on the way right now. But yeah, anyway, getting back to the look, I I just love this figure, man. You have these awesome, like, pink things around her arms, looking amazing. Her little thing right here with the little zipper right there, not really sure what that is on the back. She doesn't have, she doesn't have a bag just like Naruto or whatever, so that makes her a lot more cleaner, a lot more sleek. She feels so good. Her weight, not, not trying to be rude or anything, Sagara, you're very, you're very lovely. Um, but her, the weight of the figure, it feels so satisfying. It doesn't, it doesn't jiggle around or anything. There's nothing jiggling on this figure or wanting to move around. All the joints are in absolutely just perfect thing. Ooh, that, oh man, that posability in the arm kind of sucks. We're definitely gonna have to talk about that. It's, uh, we're definitely gonna talk about that at, 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 bleh, in the video. But her quality feels amazing. Absolutely love the plastic quality on this figure. And yeah, you have her little kunai holder right there looking fantastic. Nice little belt thing right there. Picked out some beautiful silver paint. Really awesome, of course, that little circle thing on the back of her outfit right there. Just amazing. Absolutely love this figure. And of course, the signature Hidden Leaf Village open-toed shoes, man. Oh, what a fantastic figure. I love this thing. This right here, this is peak SH figure arts, man. Well, it would be, if not for the articulation, which we'll jump into right now. Let's see if it's just the arms that's bad. So for the head, you get some really good upward movement. Yeah, not bad at all on the upward. I get, yeah, you get pretty much what you need. Beautiful down. You get lots of down right there. Plenty of tilt. So head's good. The arms, obviously, you've got some beautiful butterfly joint here because of how they are designed, which is really, really great. You get some back as well, which is really, really nice. Not too much back, but still a little bit. Beautiful butterfly right there. I really, really like that. And then you have a swivel right here in the arms. And then for the elbow, you only have a little bit over a 90 degree bend, which honestly, I think is not really acceptable. You look at this design and like, what is stopping this from getting a full double jointed bend right there? Now you're not going to be able to get her in like a good, like put up your Duke's pose right there. Well, maybe a little, eh, I don't I don't know, you can kind of get that, but uh, there's no excuse for this not having a full double jointed band. This should be able to get, there's absolutely no reason why this should not be able to do this. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. There is nothing impeding this. So that's the first knock on this figure, which I do genuinely, I am genuinely going to have to take off some points for, which is very unfortunate because honestly, I could see that easily being this figure's only real flaw. But getting to the torso right here, finally moving on, you got some good torso movement right there. Nothing too special or anything, but you'll probably be able to get her in some pretty awesome dynamic poses right there. And I did forget to talk about the hands, of course, that are on that ball joint right there, which we'll talk about that in the accessories, but we might have to do something about those ball joints. I really hope they switch to pegs at some point in this line because pegs are just better and then for legs of course you have a nice un you have a nice unhindered leg right there you can move that up and get a little bit up well a little bit of hindered right there I guess I spoke a little bit too soon but still tons of movement right there you can still get quite a bit of movement right there and then for the knees you do get a full 90 degree bend at the knees so that's very very nice if only we could have got that with the legs as well I'm sorry I'm an, I'm very nitpicky when it comes to arm posability in my opinion it's the most important thing about action figures is being able to post the arms and honestly at this point I really just feel like no action figure ever should ever be stuck with this level of articulation. I honestly think that's just kind of unacceptable at this point, so I do have to go pretty hard on it in my reviews personally. Uh, but getting into my uh, into the feet right here, these are actually crazy. Look at the way that they've designed the feet here. It's got like its own like Look at <laughs> Oh my god, that might be the most feet possibility of any figure I have ever seen. Too bad that's not really all that helpful in the long run. But you know, we'll take we'll take what we can take. We can take the W's where we where they come. Man, that's really unfortunate. This figure could have easily been a home run, man. I still really like it though. So let's get into the to the comparisons. And let's kick it off with, of course, the other figures in the line. There's Sasuke, there is Kakashi. There's Obito! Probably can't see him. No, you can. And Naruto right there. Absolutely beautiful! Oh, I love this line so freaking much. And uh, it won't be long before we get, before we finish the line. Probably, we'll probably finish this entire line by the end of May, probably. 
Probably sooner, actually. I really, really love these figures, man. Um, I do plan on making a video in the future. Uh, we're, we're definitely gonna rank all of them once I'm fully caught up with the line. We're gonna rank all of them from my favorite to from, from my least favorite to my favorite. And then I might do another video where I compare these to the SH figure arts JJK figures. Although, honestly, I don't know about that one because I don't think these live up to the JJK figures. But I'll save that for another point. I will say I like these characters better than the JJK figures, but I think the JJK figures got them beat. But yeah, man, this is a great line. I really, like, this line is worth getting into Naruto for, man. It is worth it. I really want to show you guys the shelf right now, but I'm waiting till I have all of the ones uh, on the way. I have two more on the way right now, and then I'll show you guys the shelf. But I think you guys are going to be very, very happy with the shelf. Because I very much am. Four more comparisons, though. Here she is with Nobara, uh, definitely a character that was uh, inspired by her. Unfortunately, we still don't have a Noel. Why? Why, action figure companies? Why are you sleeping on Black Clover? But here's your, so you can see how she scales with a few other SH figure arts female leads right there. If I can get your to stand it up. There we go. We got it. We got it. Yep. Here is Sakura with the amazing Yamaguchi Aizawa and Kirishima. So you can see how she scales with this amazing line. No pun intended. These are just awesome figures. I think Kirishima maybe wants her lunch money though. <laughs> What are you looking at, punk? Oh my god, this figure is fucking awesome, man. You know how I said at the end of the Sasuke review that he felt like he should, like he, he was a little bit cheaper feeling than I feel like he should? After getting this figure, I 100% stand by that opinion because she feels absolutely perfect and she's cheaper than Sasuke. Like, market price and you can pretty much get this figure reliably for around 35 bucks, which is like $20 cheaper than her, her retail was. So, like, there's no excuse for this figure feeling significantly nicer and higher quality than Sasuke. I like that Sasuke figure. Do not get me wrong. I really like that figure. I've been having a lot of fun posing it around. But this figure, man, oh, this thing is awesome. But one more comparison. Here she is with the Mappa Boys, just because it's tried and it's true. Now for the accessories, I won't lie, she's kind of light on the accessories, but what you do get, I think is pretty cool. Starting off with the alternate faces, of course you have a standard default one, kind of a smile to it in the packaging, but you also get a nice, genuinely angry one right here, very cool, someone just called her useless and she's about to like, whoop their ass. And then you've got a very nice happy one, I really like this one, I'll probably use this one quite a bit myself. And then you've got a really angry one, this one is absolutely awesome. Maybe we'll get a Sasori at some point in the future to uh, have her uh, kicking the shit out, which would be very, very cool. And then last but not least, you have this awesome comedic face right here, which will definitely be a lot of fun to use with your Shippuden Naruto as well. Absolutely amazing. And the way that they have engineered this figure to switch out the faces, it's basic, but it's really, really well done because you have I don't know I can't really explain it but this is just a really nice feeling face switch out feature this feels so much nicer than the Sasuke did I'm not trying to hate on that Sasuke figure I like that figure I gave it an S tier and I stand by that grade but this feels nicer the faces go on like nicer they click in place nicer the the, the hair piece goes on a lot nicer and I'm just trying to put into perspective how awesome this fucking figure is because I uh, I cannot say how awesome this thing is man it is so good just go buy it right now honestly man if you are interested in this figure go buy it right now you don't even need to wait till the end of the review this thing is awesome man this actually might be one of my favorite SH figure arts to date Anyway, getting into the hands, of course, you have fisted hands on in the packaging, and then you have a pair of relaxed hands, which I absolutely love. I always, always, always love relaxed hands. It'd be nice if my camera could focus. There you go. You get a pair of splayed out hands, which I also absolutely love. I'm starting to love splayed out hands just as much as relaxed hands, because they're just really nice for poses. And then you get uh, this hand, which I think is to recreate that pose where she's grabbing her glove so she can, like, getting ready to whoop someone's ass. And then you get a pretty awesome effect right here probably a chakra effect for her mega punch or you might also be able to uh fudge it into a medical jutsu pose but i don't know why you'd ever want to do that because holy shit medical jutsu is so fucking useless that shit can't heal anything y'all need to take notes from my girl mimosa to switch out the hands of course it's gonna be your usual just pop off the hand Ooh, this is a little bit worrying might have to dig out those a little bit with some i don't see any stress marks immediately so that's nice because the kakashi literally had stress marks instantaneously like on the first change right there but i'll just pop that one off and uh let's see actually we'll just 
we'll leave that one on and I want to, and we'll do this one. Wait, wait, where? I'm all over the place. Okay, my bad. This hand is actually a cracking her knuckles pose to get her in like that pose right there. It's not for that, for the, uh, for the, for the pose where you uh, have her looking like she's putting her glove on. I think you just got to use one of the splayed out hands. There you go. So you can have that. This isn't the best. Obviously, I'm just kind of trying to show you guys like what I'm doing, but you could definitely make this uh, look a lot better. But the other thing I do want to show before we jump into the final thoughts here is, of course, the effect piece. And I want to show that I'm pretty sure you just got to slip this right over the fist just like that super easy it's it's actually easier than like uh yuji itadori is when you're putting uh when you're putting the fists uh when you're putting the uh curse effects on his fist and there you go you can have her doing her mega punch right there and crack the whole fucking floor in half man very very cool so the figure is a little bit light on the accessories but in my opinion this figure makes up for the lack of accessories with its overall quality this is just such a nice feeling figure and that really is all of her accessories. She doesn't really come with a lot. So with that, with that being said, let's jump into the final thoughts. So final thoughts on the SH figure arts, Sakura Haruno. I love this figure. Personally, this is my favorite one so far. I love this thing. I think the quality is amazing. There are issues. She is rather light on the accessories. Now, she is a cheaper release, so I will... Day, I will not to go too too crazy on that, but I do think they could have included a kunai maybe or some other kind of hand or something. I don't know, maybe a medical jutsu hand, even though I think this kind of works as one anyway. But they probably could have thrown in something else in the package, but I think what you do get... It's pretty good for the price, but my real issue with this figure is the fact that she really has very limited arm articulation, and I just don't understand why. There's absolutely nothing hindering her arms right here. She literally has nothing there, so there's no reason why this figure can't get a full double-jointed bend like Nobara or even the Kid Naruto. There's absolutely no reason for that, which is my honestly my only major problem with this figure. I love this thing. It's my favorite of the line so far, and I am giving this figure an S tier. She probably deserves an a or an A plus, but I'm giving it an S because I personally really like what I see with this figure. I love the quality. This figure just embodies everything that I love about a perfect action figure. I need the quality to be good. I need it to not feel like noodles when I pick it up. Every single joint on this thing is absolutely perfect. She looks amazing. She feels so fluid to pose around. The, the faces are really nicely done. This is an excellent, excellent figure. Like I said earlier, this may be one of my favorite SH figure arts to date. And with that being said, everybody, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give me a like, subscribe for some more SH figure arts Naruto reviews in the future. And with that being said, this is DK Guillotine, uh, signing out. I'm sorry, who was it y'all were calling useless? Uh, uh, that, that would be me. Oh. Okay.